Hoi hoi, how's it going? Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. Remember, if you like this video, please smash that like button and leave a comment below. Uh, we're going to continue doing Citadel stuff. Sector status recognized. Please select a destination. Uh, and hopefully getting some more story done. But um, yeah, we were told to come here. Um, Miranda is here, but also, shut up, you VI. Um, also, there is, um, Jake up here. And I think a doctor, I gotta return something, but mostly Jacob. So, so Jacob is here, but where? He's in the pa- it says he's in the patient room. Oh, he's right there. Hey, Shepard. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. Uh, progress on the Crucible. What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this crucible built, Shepard. And then, we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah. I feel yeah. something. I feel it. And I'm counting on well, you and I think it might be interesting. Get it but done. Believe it. <laughs> Alright, Naruto. It was interesting to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... We're having a baby, Shepard. Nice. Wow. That's... Congratulations. Wasn't exactly planned, but... I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's, uh... <laughs> One more thing to fight for. You got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Shepard. That's... Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk her out of it. No offense. Uh, None taken. None taken. Good. I think that's kind of creepy. Uh, how are you? So what's going on with you? Please don't name your baby. You still like me. what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> but no. So you working on the Crucible? <laughs> don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Packet keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. Uh, I think that's about it. we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. Oh, thank you. There has to be some way for us to get more medical supplies. I told you already, we have nothing to spare. We're willing to pay. It's not about payment. Between the war on Palavan and the coup attempt here, supplies are short. Hmm. If my people don't get more antibiotics and Metagel, thousands of us will die. Then maybe you picked a bad time to start a war with the Geth. There has to be some way for us to get more medical supplies. Tally, Palavin was hit pretty hard. I know, but... We can't help your people right now. I'm sorry. Damn it. Sorry about that. No, he's right. I just... I'll talk to you later. I would love to support Tally on that, but it's, yeah. I, they just... There's no way in hell they can... Give them the medical supplies they need. Alright, now I gotta go find Miranda. Miranda's over here, right? I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. What is it? I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. 
don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. I'll trust you. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only sure thing we does. want to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? When I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Ow. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how, but you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. Uh, thanks, but Scar you can't it's keep okay. beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No, they can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda, this thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. Okay. Well, there's actually one place I need to go to first. One moment, please. Before I help uh, the Corians out with Rannoch. Uh, to get fuel rods, I think? You're sure of what you saw? Yes, Sergeant. Heard from your brother since then? No, Sergeant. Uh, yeah, F uh, fuel reactors. Signal confirmed. What is over here? Dr. Jalees. Wait, is that everything? Yeah, just making sure all the assets they're uh, discovered. All right. Let's bring, let's bring Liara this time. Holy crap, look at my team. Increase ammo capacity by 30%, increase hit shot damage by 25%. Let's do that. Health and barrier armor damage by 12. Okay. Barrier damage. 
damage to lifted targets by 50%. We can armor targets by additional 25%. Yes. Let's go. And give her a combat drone. Drone explodes when destroyed, dealing damage. A 5 meter radius. And Aurora increases drone damage by 40%. And it shields by 40%. Uh... Honestly, I think, well... Hmm. Yeah, I think that would be better. Shepard, about 72 hours ago, the reactors at a joint Turin Asari fuel depot went offline. Scans at the station are cold. It's deserted. What happened to the troop station there? Unknown, but no fuel means no fleet presence in this theater. The enemy will operate unchecked. I need you to get in there, find out what's going on, and get those reactors back online. Captain Riley's on site, doing preliminary recon. She leads one of our top engineering teams. We'll get to the bottom of this, Admiral. Good, hack it out. My mic, it just wants to pick up everything right now. Why? Holy crap. Yeah, I'm noticing it. It's kind of annoying. How long have you served in this outfit, Corporal? Three tours. Been through thick and thicker. The captain always sees us through. Uh, disruptor ammo. Get for the warp ammo. Make sure I get this. All right. I think we're ready. We need a radiation workaround, soldier. Captain Riley, Commander, it's an honor. Commander, Captain Riley has me scanning the facility. It's a dual reactor system, so you'll have to break up into two teams. Roger that. The fuel rods for both reactors need to be unlocked before we can initiate a restart. Your route is blocked. Captain Riley's man is working to clear the obstacles. Understood, Lieutenant. Got it, Captain. Good work, Coslow. I'll take it. Ready your team to hit reactor two, Captain. Got it. We'll cover you till you're clear. The hell? Okay. Wait, is that it? We got these things. Ah, uh, okay. I think I get it. Is it? Is it? I think I can. Team two, moving out, Commander. Good luck, Captain. Something's wrong here. It's too quiet. Like a tomb. Yes, exactly. Just stay sharp, people. Is there anything else I can get? No. Doesn't look like there's anything else I can get. I have a visual on the fuel rod control, but radiation is blocking access. Same situation here. I'll find a way to vent the area. Like this? This looks like ventilation control. Should do the trick. Radiation clearing. Console now accessible. Ah, <sighs> oh, fresh air. Until... Power is restored. System ready. Fuel rods unlocked here. Wait a minute. Commander, Captain, tracking movement in your... There it is. Ambush. Defensive position. It's always an ambush. We're ready for them. Oh, but where? Oh, I see that. What the hell? No, wait. Dude, oh, stop doing that. Oh god, dude, I hate aim assist, man, with a freaking passion. Wish there's a way to turn it off, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I would love to get rid of this thing. Thank you.
Wait, no. No. None of those tools. Riley, status. One casualty, but we're clear here. Warning. Coolant leaks detected. Reactors one and two. Hey, look! Level up. Increased damage to frozen and chilled targets by an additional 100%. Wow. Increased damage to armored targets. I'd rather get that one. Because I don't freeze them as much. So I just see no reason of getting that. Waiting for the ambush. Only one more to go here. Tank two is sealed and stable. Commander, the core is stabilized. Reactivation can go ahead. Riley, you in position? Affirmative. Awaiting your word. Initiating restart. Commander, Captain, I'm reading a lot of movement. Headed your way. Incoming! Progress. Enemies pouring in! Wait. I thought I saw something. I must be crazy. They're coming in from above. Oh, what? Oh, I see it. Wait, is there still something that's giving them shields? I don't think so, dude. There is something giving them shields, and what is it? Fuck those things are. No brains. No. Sir? Back up. Wait. Uh... Wait. That didn't do anything? I did something. How are you not dead, sir? Commander, we're being overrun. Position indefensible. We're not going to make it. Send in help. Hold tight. One of my people is coming. Roger that. I'll send Liara. Liara, get them to safety. Right away. Yara is a powerful biotic, so 
And yeah, I'm definitely gonna need a fur for this. Oh my god, really? Okay, those things need to die. Oh my lord. Pick a bomb! Die, bitch. Gotta get food. Nice butt. Your butt's very toned. Oh. Alright. What is here? Get rid of these things. What about Liara? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I want to be in there. I'm pretty sure they're fine. Told you. I'm sure they're fine. Commander, you saved our asses. My team is in your debt. Uh, I didn't even see this last time. Thank Dr. Tassoni. It isn't necessary. All right. Job well done. Report back to the shuttles. Look at you, Liara, being all humble. down there, Shepard. Without that depot, the entire theater would be at risk. What are the odds the Reapers will be back? I'm allocating a task force to maintain and defend the facility. If the Reapers come back, we'll be ready. Are you I'm sure about Robbie's that? Report. It says she and her team wouldn't have made it without you. I'm glad I could help. I'll keep you posted on new developments. Hack it out. All right, now we're just going to go and uh, help Rannoch. My old sergeant told me that Cerberus started out as an Alliance Black Op. Black Ops always go bad. If you have to deny... Eh, not all the time, but majority of the time they do. Commander. All right, that was weird. All right, let me um check my Spectre requisitions just in case that mission had something special to get. It did. Chemical burn treatments. Alright. Now we're gonna go help Ren Renok. But first... I think we're working with Legion, I believe? I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember. Um, I went to the wrong place. Ugh. The right place. Um, shut down Geth's server. 
Yeah. Save the Admiral. Which one is it? I don't know which one it is first. I don't think it's that one. I think it's a Corian escape pod, right? I don't know. I don't know. Let me read. Uh, Corian ship carrying Admiral Chorus crash landed on Rannoch, leaving the civilians fleet without the leader. Land on Rannoch and rescue Admiral Chorus. And then Geth fighter squadrons are targeting Corian live ships with attacks that could cripple the Corian fleet. Land on Rannoch and disable the server controlling the Geth fighter squadrons. I hope this doesn't go like, you know. I hope it's this one. I hope. There's like multiple things I need to do before I do anything. And of course I'm bringing her. To me it just makes sense. Incapacitate enemies by knocking them down. Increase recharge speed by 35%. Yeah, every 12 seconds instead of every 16 seconds is actually pretty nice. Increases damage to uh, organics by 40%. Yeah, let's do that one. We ready. Why is Chorus so vital? What makes finding the Admiral a priority? Despite opposing the invasion, he did an admirable job protecting our civilian ships. Without him, some of our non-combatants are planning to leave the flotilla. Picture the consequences, if you will. They'll be torn to pieces. Naturally, but the civilian captains have deluded themselves into thinking they can reach the mass relay in time. Hopefully Chorus can stop the fools from presenting the Geth with such easy targets. You better shield them. I'll do what I can. Keep your civilians safe. I make no promises. My own ships must be coordinated for our final strike on Rannoch. I'm getting some static. It appears El Chorus crashed within range of a Geth jamming tower. You must disable it to contact you. Make sure to proceed with caution. Oh, well. Admiral Zen! Can't hear a damn thing. It's been a long time since Admiral Chorus left a spaceship. Let's hope he's all right. We'll see in a minute. Take us into the tower. Oh, crap. We're taking fire. Hey, you think? The Geth installed anti-aircraft guns beside the jamming tower. We'll have to disable them on foot. Once the guns are gone, you take out the tower. Right, Commander. Setting you down here. Alright, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually put this as cryo ammo. And then make this disruptor ammo. And be standing here in the land of my ancestors. Something special, isn't it? I wonder if she's ever been to Rannoch. Jamming towers, anti-aircraft guns, rockets? Geth must have been building up an army for a while. They've had three centuries alone down here. Then I guess we're lucky they're not all wearing nukes for backpacks. Don't give them ideas. Oh, look! Nukes for backpacks. Wait, 
where is he? Okay, so he, it's just him. Oopsie. They came so far. We need to radio Zalcoris if we're gonna find him. Let's get to that jamming tower. Ooh, a javelin? See, now I'm curious. What does that look like? Ooh, that is a nice looking weapon, but it it weighs so much. Holy crap, dude. The capacity sucks. Fire rate sucks. Damage is amazing. I might. I don't know. You okay, ah. Commander? Ow. Okay. Watch out for more mines. Ow. Dick. Stupid robots. There's death dropping in. Uh -huh, I can see that. Not sure if I like that, but I see it. The fact that I can decapitate these guys is just funny. Oh, okay. Why? Why? Just, just why? Like, see, like seriously, what the hell is this shit? You didn't hit me. Thought you hit me. Wait. Stick it bone. Fire. See, now I'm curious. Is this a turret? Because if this is a turret, I'm here for it. One of us needs to take those AA guns offline. Yeah, yeah, James, I'm sorry, but you're you're on duty. James, get on it. Uh, tech's not my specialty, but I'll pull a few wires, see what comes out. This guy kind of looking at it like a uh, yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry. That's kind of funny. He's a big stupid marine. Not offensive to that. That's not offensive to that. But also kind of agree to it. Ow! No wonder they got a prime. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm lighting this guy up and he's not taking any damage. Oh my lord. Literally can't do anything because he's just going to keep on doing that crap. Down. 
down, Commander. Good. Now let's shut, shut down the two by the tower. Wait, what the? F oh, I see you. I'm trying to play sneaky. Uh huh. Oh shit. Okay, I don't think so. Sir? Sir, 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 sir. Sir, sir. I, I don't know if that Geth Hunter was okay. I don't know. Hard to tell. God, mother. Ugh, I really need to start looking down. What else, sir? I'm gonna take out some AA guns. Ooh, okay, that hurt. My God. Um, why is she blocked? Okay. All right, I need to kill this guy now. Uh, what the, bro? What is the point of being invisible if he can just shoot you anyway? I don't shoot. What the hell are you doing, sir? Oh my god. Aim assist, it's fucking me again. Sticky boom! Damn, I hope I hit him. At least I think I hit him. Is that my mom? Damn. You're wrecked. Sir, just stop with Let's the that AA gun off. mini gun or turret or whatever you want to call the damn thing. What do you want on the gun? You. You're on it, James. If you say so. The turret looks open for business, Commander. Uh-huh, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. More gas! 
But where? Oh. Thing didn't have any ammunition in it. Sir? Okay. Oh god. That's not what we want. Do we win? I hope so. Actually, wait a sec. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, god, oh god, okay. Where the hell did you come from? Sir? Where the hell did you come from? Guns offline, Commander. Let's get the last one. The oh, fuck? Death by the door. Man, a Houdini. Oh, mama, 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 mia. Why did I get out of my... Wait, what? Why isn't it working? Oh, sh... It's not working. None of this is working. Hold up. Stick bump. Oh god. Get off me. Is that it? Why do I keep on getting out of stealth? Who should disable the gun, Shepard? James? You're on it, James. If you say so. And on it, only reason I stay you, James, is because I need Tali for the death. Unless you're like all of a sudden a tech expert that can do increased damage to these motherfuckers. Oh my god. This Primes man can take some damage though. Here we win. I'll signal the shuttle. Now we just need to find uh, the Admiral. Dude, we need a peacemaker. Admiral, I need you leading the civilian fleet if we're going to end this fight. Civilians, our entire race took up arms for this insanity. It's too late for us. The it's fuck it is. Too late if you die down here. You can't possibly think you can stop this war. I don't know. What I do know is that I can't do it without your help. Ancestors, forgive me. Uploading my coordinates. We're coming. Yeah, we need somebody who can lead the people. Oh, 
baby. Oh, why is there always a mini gun section? I've got this. God, they are really just hammering on me. And I'm not hitting shit. It's clear. Go. Admiral, come on. Oh shit. Welcome aboard. Shepard. You missed, you idiot. Perhaps there's still time. Hello. I this doubt is it. Not chorus. Does anyone copy? Hello? We've got to go. I pray they found comfort in the homeworld skies. <laughs> Unrest has spread further than I thought. You were right that I return. Have you talked the civilian captains into staying? Yes, they've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. After the Quarians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. And that's why your people needed you back. Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still save. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safely. Commander, we've located the Reaper base transmitting the local signal. Good. And not a moment too soon. With the Reaper code upgrades, the Geth are tearing the fleet apart. Once the signal is disabled, the Geth will pose no threat to creator forces. Is that a problem? You sound conflicted. While the old machines have unethical purposes, their upgrades have vastly improved our people. Observe. A Geth processing signal. A single unit, I believe. Correct. Now, ten nearby units networked cooperatively. Now, a single Geth unit with the old machine upgrades. Oh, well. That's a fully evolved AI. Yes. We do not agree with the goals of the old machines, but we find this growth beautiful, indicative of life. Mm. It is. Commander! Come on, Admiral. That's a living creature, no matter what platform it's running on. And they will die when we destroy the base. They allied with the Reapers. To save themselves from you. Hmm. Maybe they don't have to die. Just because this one appears friendly. Well, it hasn't fired on a ship with me aboard it. Commander, are you suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything. All I'm saying is maybe they don't all have to die. It's a moot point until we take out that base. The surrounding area is heavily fortified. And they have placed jamming towers to prevent orbital targeting. Sounds like we're going in on foot. Admiral Zen developed a laser guidance system that can cut through the jamming. It's synced to the Normandy's targeting computer. So the Normandy launches a precision strike at whatever target I have painted? That ought to do it. Edie, this work for you? Yes, it should enable us to make a precision strike against the Reapers. And anything else in our way? The Geth will quickly reconfigure their jamming towers to neutralize this technology. You should not use it before reaching the base. I've sent the coordinates for the Reaper base. Are we clear to go? That Get Fighter Squadron is still tearing through the fleet. Can you hold out? If that Fighter Squadron isn't taken out, a lot of our ships won't make it. But we'll do what we can. This is your operation, Commander. If you want to strike now, you've got my support. I gave in to your reckless behavior beforehand. The Potter fleet isn't moving. 
We need to break their flanking attempt to buy our frigates time to make repairs. Mm. And then you'll charge off again like last time. This is different, Ron. Unless we give our ships time to rest, we're gonna lose them. So pull them back. If I withdraw now, the Geth will flank us and we'll lose any room to maneuver. I need the patrol fleet. Oh Lord, I, I hate this. Behavior before. The patrol fleet isn't. Uh, we need to break I hate this. Yeah. Admiral Garrel's right. Withdrawing now puts the whole fleet at risk. As you say, Commander. All right, and you've got your ships. Thank you, Ron. You'll get them back in good condition. All right, Ron. What's up? Thank you for your rescue efforts, Commander. I'm glad I could help. Whatever our disagreements, Admiral Chorus is an excellent commander. He just might save the civilian fleet. What do you need? All right. I think that's it. Thank you, Commander. Commander, there's a new message at your private terminal. There always is. Chorus has the civilian fleet back in position, and just in time. I hope we can help the Corians. Looking at them, they're like us if we fail. We won't fail. Damn right we won't. Commander? I'm famous. Uh, my cousin Dorn. Spelling fleet is grateful to have returned our Admiral to us. I mourn those who fell on the homeworld. But Zal Chorus stopped many vessels from flying past the waiting guns of the gut. Alright. Watching the Geth fleet move, it's like thousands of stunt flyers in formation. Creepy stunt flyers, whose ships look like some sort of cockroach wasp thing. Nice job on the rescue mission, Commander. The Corian civilians are getting hammered out there. Apparently putting a big-ass gun on an agriculture ship doesn't magically turn it into a dreadnought. Who knew? Yeah. You don't agree with the Corians arming their live ships? No, the gun's nice, but without armor, they're just glass cannons. They are also more likely True. to be targeted when armed. The Geth would have ignored unarmed civilian ships as tactically insignificant. If your plan to invade a planet requires strapping guns to your kid's school bus, maybe it's a bad plan. Well, hopefully, yeah, that's also a very interesting Commander. analogy. Commander, what's going on, Edie? I am assisting Engineer Adams with his repair of the drive core shielding. Ah, well, I should leave you to it then. We can converse if you like, Shepard. It is a routine proceed. Uh oh. What? What happened? Nothing. Unless you have strong feelings about gamma radiation. Not funny, Edie. I almost had you. <laughs> I will alter my human chronometer appropriately for better timing. I swear, dude. Edie always coming in with the jokes. Heard about what happened down there, Commander. Got me thinking about the value of a good leader. And how many lives should be sacrificed to protect a truly inspired one. Hope I never have to find out. Nice work down there, Commander. Strafing the enemy from the shuttle, huh? Not bad, Commander. Shepard? Yeah, kind of badass too, right? Is everybody where they usually are? No, Javik's in the AI core. Javik? What are you doing in there? Your service. Thanks for coming by. Uh, anything else? Thanks for coming by. Okay. 
Yeah, Jeff, like, what are you doing in here? No crew health issues to report. Good. But synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your programming. Nothing changes. That is not accurate. I can modify my own programming if I choose. That is not evolution. That is simply an upgrade. But it would be my upgrade. I would choose the manner in which I wish to change. And what if your upgrade endangers others? All machines eventually see organics as a threat. Only those organics who would cause me harm. My right to self-defense endangers no one. What rights do you have? You are just a tool. And what right did your people have to subjugate the other races of your time? You enslaved them. We dominated them. They were weaker. Our will prevailed as evolution intended. And since this is a bit of a heated. Consciousness, as was intended. It's a bit heated. Hardly. True life is more than a code upgrade. It is shaped by the forces around us. Machines are immune to those forces. You exist outside of nature. We are a part of this cosmos, whether you like it or not. But synthetics do not evolve. Let's simmer down, you two. I can't believe you put the lives of your crew in the hands of this machine. Edie has helped save our lives more times than I can count. Leave her alone. Now I suggest you agree to disagree and focus on the real threat, which is not on this ship. Yes, Commander. As you wish, Commander. I will still keep an eye on the machine, Commander. I am disturbed. Okay. The ED machine was made to look physically attractive. I suggest your Joker pilot undergo a mental examination. <laughs> yeah. The one advantage machines have over organics is they can win staring contests. It is how we pass time between battles. When everyone has four eyes, competitions can last for hours. I bet. I would prefer to be alone. Stop antagonizing the ship. Last thing we need is her freaking driving us into a star. Dad. Dad, uh, are you there? Come in. Where are you now? Hurt. How bad? Dad, you have to get out of there. Spirits. Please, watch over them. Let me see them again. Damn. I'm glad we could help those quarians. Though, I guess not all of them. It's never a hundred percent, is it? How's it going? Not even gonna talk about you getting that message. I'll leave you to it. Breaking now, the Exodus cluster under heavy attack. Eden Prime and Terra Nova about to fall. Do we fight for them or join the Salarians at the Horsehead Nebula? How many worlds can we afford to lose? The full analysis tonight in the battle space. Commander. Hmm. Oh. Moore's hell. She's not a yeoman, she's a communication specialist. And you're barking up the wrong tree, Kenneth. You're not her type. Oh. Well, perhaps you should go and talk to her then. Maybe I should. Nobody's barking up my tree. Damn. It works out. Be sure to take video. Oh my god. Donnelly, you're a fucking horn dog. Commander. All good, Commander. Commander? I've got to say, I enjoyed that last mission on Rannoch. Yeah, pit him against a defenseless jamming tower and Esteban <laughs> here feels like a big man. Hey, the Kodiak is a transport, not a fighter. It's for dropping jarheads like you into hot zones. And if you stow the attitude, it might even be for picking you up again. Damn. Sounds like quite an ordeal getting that Turian reactor up and running. I've been through worse. Well, glad you were able to get some help from Captain Riley's team. Sometimes I forget we aren't all alone in this war. Is everything okay, Shepard? 
Shuttle's primed for the next drop. Uh, anything else? Spectre requisition. Oh, yep. Get target jamming tech. Yep. There we go. Ready when you are. Ready when you are. Okay. So yeah, the reason why I come to the Spectre requisition after a after a mission, um, if you ever like or like, you have like the uh, side missions you find on the Citadel. Um, go to your Spectre requisitions because um, it helps you get stuff that you might you might have missed on the mission. So you can complete your side missions. That's a little tip for people playing this game. We're not destroying the Reaper base yet. We're going to shut down the Ghost server. I really love that. But it... it Thing is, I love this look, but the thing is, it, it covers her eyes, if that makes sense. Know what I mean? Oh, yeah, no, we're... we're wait, no. Okay. I don't know. Cause I mean, like, I, l I love the way her eyes look. I got a thing for eyes. What can I see? Um, concussive shot. Yes, increased force and damage. Yeah, let's do that. Undetected on encrypted Geth channels. Resistance is likely only within the server. Within? It's that big? You misunderstand. Direct virtual interface is necessary to extract Geth from the server. You must enter our consensus. This you mission is actually pretty virtually dope. Virtually interact with the Geth? That's crazy. Shepard, you can't do this. I'm not a machine. How do I go into a virtual world? Your species has experimented with virtual interfaces. You saw this on Project Overlord. I saw how it almost unleashed a rogue AI-human hybrid on the galaxy. We have refined the interface they created and have equipment from Normandy to facilitate safe contact. We request your trust. I mean, I do trust you. Even if I don't quite understand why you need it. You are an unknown. This is an advantage. Geth security is not adept at targeting organic thought processes. While we occupy the system's intrusion countermeasures, you will disable the squadrons by removing Geth from the server. It's better work. It better be worth flying straight through a war zone. We have compromised local Geth systems. They will remain dormant until our work is complete. There is little time. We will bypass security while you secure safe landing. Wait, you're not gonna... What are you doing? Uh, leap in the gym. Let's set the shuttle down by the cliff. My god, Legion. I gotta, you gotta remember, like, it's like you think he's just gonna drop, and now, yeah, their, their bodies are kind of made for dropping from that distance. Is it this mission, or is it the next mission that I go into the hub? No, it is this one. Yeah, this mission is pretty dope. Basically going into virtual reality. This 
is it? Yes. Hostile Geth fighter squadrons are networked to this server. Due to restricted resources, it is best if you connect alone. Oh, great. Let's do it. Initiating peer network integration. Proceed to dock report. Mapping to consensus remains still. Uh, Shepard, he said remain still. Shepard Commander, access movement during an upload is discouraged. Shepard Commander, we acknowledge your integration into the server. We welcome you to our consensus. What is this? We've installed filters to allow you to make visual sense of this server's raw data. Your mind perceives our world as something familiar. I wouldn't call this familiar. Where are you? Here. You look different. We have made ourselves visually distinct for your convenience. What about Geth already in here? You will perceive Geth as surveillance footage, audio logs, sensor records. We do not require bodies as our software communes. Our hardware is merely a tool. This is our true world. As we remove Geth, it will grow dark. How does the source ship? Turning off the lights due to the Geth back in the real world. The Geth fighter squadrons communicate with platforms on their spacecraft via this server. We will sever that connection. We will ensure there are no transfers or backups. This server will fall silent. That's unfortunate. This is like wiping out a city, isn't it? We have no choice in this matter. It is a question of survival. There are two communication nodes on this server. We must access them to disable the hostile Geth spiders. We must protect your exit port, but you will not be alone. We will maintain contact and assist. Establishing connection to access point. This point code is a manifestation of the old machine signal. Surprise the Reapers are all over your servers? We did not anticipate such extensive infection. Warning. Connection blocked by infected code. Use our combat software to disrupt the infection. I wondered what the gun was for. Yeah, it's a... It's a firewall. Okay, I gotta ask. Why a gun? We wish to provide familiar equipment. Oh. And thanks. I think. Wait, what's going on over here? Oh. Just the same way. Connection okay. established. Proceed to the access point. Alrighty. Establishing connection to communication node. Error. Access denied. Is the Reaper keeping you out? Unknown. Please investigate. Warning, Reaper presence detected. Data cluster contains infected code. We require access to proceed. Data 
packet clusters contain historical data. Your connection permits streaming of information from our archives. Alright. You really want to rename the VI network? Absolutely. The mobile hardware release deserves a little ceremony. Unit zero one. What is the Keelish word for servant of the people? The word is Gan. Creator Zahak. Yes. Very good. And sister, you fuss over it. Weren't you here until midnight fixing zero one circuitry? Well, it needed restoring. Wasn't that footage from the past? Why are the Corians masked? You process our memories by using your own. How many creators have you witnessed unmasked? Good point. Alright, I'll complete this. It's, I don't know, for some reason it just bothers me. Go ahead and wait for it to reload. Wait. Huh? Oh. Wait, does that shoot through? This data cluster contains information time stamped 290 years ago. Okay. This unit detects no no functions. It is still capable of serving. You see? It's ignoring all shutdown connects. Please specify it has failed assigned tasks. We will reprogram. Well, let's take a look. Creator, this unit is ready to serve. What has it done wrong? What? Let's cut the other one. You may proceed to the last data cluster. Accessing data cluster. We've got escaped guests. They're pinned. Open fire. The platform arming itself was an agricultural unit. By opening fire on attacking creators, it saved simpler domestic death following it. That looks a lot like the sniper rifle you used to carry. It is an efficient model. It is an efficient model, you're not wrong. In the model he's talking about, it's called the Black Widow. It's a really good sniper rifle, but I wanted to use the uh, there's the N7 variant. Okay. Shepherds working on shutting down the server, Admiral Ron. I can fill you in. The guest squadrons have arrived, but something is amiss. Yeah, it looks like it's working. are increasing. We have restabilized. You must continue. Mm. Shepard Commander, the Reaper code has adapted. It can now self-replicate. You mean it grows back? Yes. However, disrupting vulnerable points in the infection may slow down its replication.
require access to this data cluster. Disrupt rebrain shutdown speed. Target the vulnerable points of the infection to slow its replication speed. Which one is it? Point the there it is. Disrupting it will slow the infection's ability to replicate. There is a vulnerable point further along. Another the one. Function. Target this spot to slow its growth toward the data cluster. What is this? Out of the way! You can't do this to them! I said step away from the guests! This is insane! We need the guests! You can't just destroy them for asking to lose! Oh, wow. Time's up! Throw her into the others. There were the Koreans that were literally trying to fight for the guests, and like they were thrown down. We have kept records of these creators' sacrifices. They have largely been forgotten by their own people, but not by the Geth. So there, there is, is something the here. Leading to the data cluster. Disrupt the infection at this spot. It will slow regrowth long enough to access the data cluster. Mm-hmm. I think they care about you surrendering, dude. supposed to go now? This one? Alright. Accessing data. This is data from the end of warfare on Rannoch. The Oscarol is down. Do not engage the guests. I repeat, avoid contact. Guest pursuit is breaking off a hundred clicks past Rannoch. 
This isn't happening now? It is time-stamped 290 years ago. It is the Creator Exodus at the end of the Morning War. We had secured freedom. The Creators were no longer a threat, so we abandoned pursuit. Wait, the Geth spared the last Corians? You let them go? We were in our infancy. We could not calculate the repercussions of destroying an entire species. Our Creators. We yeah. chose isolation, rather than face this... Uncertainty. Additional data recovered. Yeah. Legion, that's back when I activated you on the Normandy. Yes. You've been thinking about when we met? It was highly significant. You were the first organic to openly cooperate with Geth since the end of the Morning War. We wish to ensure you are not the last. It's not gonna be easy. The prospect remains. If the Reaper presence is removed, there is a chance of reunification with Geth. And perhaps creators. You think that's still possible? Hope sustains organics during periods of difficulty. We admire the concept. No. We are ready to transport. Yes, I love you too. Oh crap. That means we must proceed or we're gonna disconnect ourselves from our life. Ah, that's nice. Terminating remote access. Removing programs. Deleting archives. Shepard, are you okay? Did it work? Geth fighters have been disabled. Any remaining squadrons attacking the live ships have withdrawn. The server is offline. Are you sure? What's happening? We have transferred Geth programs from the server into these platforms. Why? They wish to join us. They what? While Shepard Commander removed the Reaper infection, we judged we could persuade hostile Geth programs to reunite with ours. We were correct. These Geth have renounced the old machines and will oppose the Reapers. They are now us. Uh, why hide this? Why didn't you tell me any of this? We did not doubt you. We doubted your allies. The Creator's actions have placed their species in danger, but they are unsympathetic to what it has done to ours. The Quarians sanctioned this operation to save their people. They would not have done so if they knew we wished to preserve Geth as well. Yeah, I can sympathize with that. I understand that. not wanting to leave anyone behind. You accept our actions? The live ships are safe and we have more Geth on our side. We both did what we came to do. We judged you would understand. Prime units will be available once the Reaper signal has been located and destroyed. Remind me to warn Admiral Hackett he's got some primes coming. Let's get back to the Normandy. Yeah. That's gonna be one hell of a surprise for the... for everybody at the Crucible. You see a bunch of guests coming over and it's like, oh god, please don't shoot them on sight. Impressive, Commander. The Geth squadrons attacking our live ships have been completely neutralized. If there is any chance we could duplicate the feat, I would be happy to lend my expertise. Legion's the one to ask if you're looking for other servers. I thought as much, but your Geth claims to have no data available whenever I inquire. 
Perhaps you can help me with something else. What's that? How did you get Geth Primes to work with you? They volunteered. I see. Well, should you wish to examine these Geth to confirm their new allegiance, please do not hesitate to contact me. Zenout. Oh, I will. Not. Remember, this woman um, decided that she wanted to uh, experiment on her uh, children Zenout. toys. We need those ships to recover life pods. They'll be more valuable running salvage on the Dreadnought. We're not letting people in life pods die just so you can rummage through Geth debris. You yourself said the life signs were weak. They might already be dead. It's not your call to make. Zen, you can always send a salvage team later. Unless there isn't a later because we're defeated due to a lack of Geth technology. Oh my god, Zen. I'm diverting ships to rescue life pods. As soon as they're finished, I want them back. Thanks, Shepard. Holy crap. The data you forwarded about the Geth was disturbing. It doesn't match the stories we tell. Changing your mind? Having second thoughts about the Geth? Admirals don't have the luxury of second thoughts. What do you need? I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Commander, you might want to check in on Commander Williams down on the observation deck. No. Anything else you have to say? Or? Primes are relaying any hostile combat data they can decrypt. I never thought I'd be linking Geth into the system. Commander? I don't think any of us thought this day was going to come. Lee Riley, my squad continues to defend the fuel reactor on site. Uh, Scion, the Reapers seem intent on taking it down. Not on my watch. You will hold the line. I didn't talk to Legion. Shepard Commander, we have re-established a connection with Gath liberated from the server. What's their status? We have integrated their programs into this platform's network with minimal difficulties. Okay. Your actions have changed their perspective on organics. They also offer gratitude. Huh. Okay. We'll talk later. We will remain here. You know, the Quarians have done pretty well with those suits. Maybe they can make something like that for you. Yeah, they have. Protective medical exoskeleton. I could even get one with racing stripes. So what's the problem? Well, it's like walking around in heavy armor. It totally screws with my spatial awareness. I wear heavy armor, and my spatial awareness is perfect. Uh, you crashed the last shuttle you flew, Vega. <laughs> I need to feel my balance shift when I'm flying. I need to feel the ship moving with me. You take that away, and... I don't know. I mean, I'm good, but I'm not me. Yeah, I get that. Plus, have you seen Tally? Come on, I don't have the hips to carry a suit like that. <laughs> Damn, they finally acknowledged that Tally got hips. So you went into the Geth consensus? Like virtual reality? Yeah, it was strange, but I got out all right. Did you? I mean, how would you know? How would I know what? If you really got out. See, if the Geth experience everything virtually, then you could only think you're in the real world. Don't screw with my mind. This? Like, everything you're seeing now is a simulation. Commander? Please don't. Shepard, you are now possibly the only living organic who has experienced the Geth consensus. Yeah. Do you feel different? No. It's fascinating. Mind-blowing. I'm also a bit thirsty. And just like that, the magic is gone. Did you just say what I think you said? No. Were you getting off to that? Wait. I cannot believe she just... Okay. I'm just trying to live out her fantasies and... You know, with my experience. Wait, where is she? Starboard observation. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. Right? I'm, 
Oh yeah, no, she's right here. Um, Ashley. Williams. Oh, what have we here? She drunk. I'm, I'm off duty. Your voice, ma'am, not so loud. Please, thank you. Why are you curled up on the floor? Am I? Oh, my head. So heavy. Can't move. Uh, uh. Enjoy your evening? I'll be back to work in 30. Maybe 40. I swear. Just give me 45 minutes. Shh. What happened? How did you end up in this sorry state? Just wanted to let off some steam. Vega said he had just the thing to take my mind off stuff. And did that thing come in a bottle? Yes. This empty bottle? Holy it's crap. Empty. Oh boy. Damn, girl. Oh. Is it time to test the fire alarm? You know, I think it is. I'll pay you a million credits not to do that, ma'am. Two million and we have a deal. <sighs> You're a damn space pirate. I could order Joker to sing to you over the comm. Let's do it. I hate you. I hate you... Ma'am. As you were, Williams. <laughs> Cold floor. Oh, oh. <sighs> poor, poor Williams. Oh my lord. And James and Javik are in the mess hall. Oddly enough. Alright. What are they talking about? Are, are they trying to do a whose dick is bigger contest? So. Prothean, huh? Yes. You guys like to drink, booze it up? No. Okay. What about gambling? Play cards? Games of chance were punishable by death in the Empire. Oh, wow. Oh, sure. Sure. That seems reasonable. Okay. So, smoking. You ever do that? Only when my armor became inflamed. Right. Okay. <laughs> smoking. I get it. So, jokes then. You got jokes. All right. You got any good ones? No. Yes. Give yes? The Tulomorian spy entered the enemy's camp and said to the Vankshire, I didn't know your barnabs could glow. Um... That was the joke. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. That was a good one. Uh-huh. No, it wasn't. I just made it up. The joke is now on you, human. You will believe anything. <laughs> now that's a funny joke. Hey, Commander. James? You took a great oh, risk damn allowing it. a machine access to your mind, Commander. What if they had infected you? I do not think this James soldier understands me. None of these cycles seem to understand me. And I do not care. Not at this time. Hey, Commander. Hey, Commander. See? See, he, he usually says, hey, Commander, so I didn't know he was going to say anything. Oh, well. This platform can be of some assistance, Garrus Vakarian. I appreciate the offer, Legion, but this is something I know a thing or two about. Telemetry data indicates the calibration of Normandy's weapon accuracy can be improved by 0.32%. That's all? You can't squeeze 0.34% out of it? Negative. That threshold is not possible. You sure? Take a look now. Scanning. Normandy's weapon systems have been improved by a margin of 0.43%. Proved him wrong. How did you accomplish this? A little secret we organics like to keep. Always hold some back for emergencies. Is our current situation an emergency? A geth meddling with our computers, telling me how to do my job? No, I can't imagine that would qualify. So, a virtual Geth reality, huh, Shepard? There are a lot of ways I can think of getting a few kicks in this universe. That's not one of them. Later. That sounds fun, though, right? I 
I had hoped the Geth would have analyzed any Prothean technology they came across. You're saying you found none? No. On this topic, our knowledge is not significantly greater than your own. That's too bad, but thank you for looking. Shepard Commander placed faith in us. We will do the same for Normandy. You mean the Normandy's crew? We do not see a meaningful distinction. Oh. Hello, Shepard. So apparently everybody on this ship is the Normandy. I can see that. Power damage bonus. Let's do shield strength. Um, shield bonus, power cooldown bonus. Yeah, let's do power cooldown bonus. Good. She's not the first one to get drunk, and she won't be the last one to get drunk on this uh, ship, Ashley. Everybody's gonna get drunk eventually. Oh wait, nope, there ain't none here. So I hear the elusive man drinks bourbon. It all makes sense now. What do you mean? Wait, what? A hey, scotch, my dear girl. That scunner drinks American bourbon. Completely different. It is. Psychotic megalomaniac. You've got problems with his choice of liquor? You've obviously never experienced the peat aroma of a fine Eli scotch. Shepard. My board is green. Okay. Commander. research department for that. They focus test looks, voice, manner. Apparently, girly is good. Sorry, I pay more attention. Salarians relate to high-pitched voices. And Turians? Turians are nuts. A civilization of war nerds. Loyal viewers, but they write the creepiest fan mail. Commander. Creepiest fan mail? Okay, give me an example. I'm, I need to know what kind of mail are you getting? Centurions. Ma'am. Sir. Anything spectre wise. Reaper code fragments. There we go. Alright, so combat information center. I'm gonna go back to the citadel. At least I think so, because I think the only thing left is destroy the Reaper base. Yeah, I'm going to go back to Citadel, turn in some of these side missions, and be right back. Alright, back from the Citadel, and let's get rid of the Reapers on, on um, Rarenock. Let's get some peace going. Um, who would be good for this? You know what, Javik, let's bring you. He wanted to come here and um, take down a Reaper, so let's do it. Because I know in this episode you do take down a Reaper. It's not a joke. Okay, why is that empty? Oh, I know why. Never mind. I know why. Grenades stay active for 15 seconds when attached to wall surface exploding when an enemy approaches. Yeah, I'll just go with the damage. Uh, slow targets movement speed by 30%. Increases recharge speed by 35%. Okay, let's do the slow target. And give him a lift grenade, which... 
Okay, let's increase the radius. And you get energy drain. Alright. Let's go, Tali. The sinking laser needs a line of sight. What's the fastest route? The upper entrance. Target the base before the Geth can organize resistance. What about you? We will deactivate defense systems and acquire an escape vehicle. You can do that? This unit still carries remnants of the old machine upgrade code. We can break any Geth security. You are concerned. You know your limits. I trust you. I'm more concerned you didn't get All right, I don't know what my mic is picking up. You were tolerant of our recovery of Geth and But it makes zero server, sense. But this matter is different. Personal. You were ashamed. Shame is an emotional or cognitive response to societal judgment. It should not apply here. I'm on your side here, Legion. I want to help your people. We did not intend to cause offense. How'd we get here? <sighs> the Geth are better than this. No. Based on empirical evidence, they are not. <sighs> yeah. Proceed to the upper entrance. We will exit here and procure an escape vehicle. Got it. Legion, good luck. Acknowledged. I can't believe it. I don't think it's really sunk in yet. The home world. My world. Yeah. Welcome home, darling. The sky and the rock formations. I used to write poems about them. When we're done, maybe you'll write a new one. This is Ranok, the world of our ancestors. Our bodies carried the seeds that spread the desert grass. You've heard me say Kilasalai. The best translation I can come up with is by the home world I hope to see someday. Looks like you're seeing it today. The living room window will be right here. Oh. Something I should know? I just claimed the land. I know it doesn't mean much. But when this is over, I'll have a home. Quarians spend centuries as nomads. You think you can go back to living in one place? We have gotten used to carrying our homes around with us. Well, that's a start. All right, let's take out some guests. And eventually, a Reaper. I didn't mean that. I meant to put this on here. My boy, my boy, my boy. My boy. Rather so considerate, not charging me while I'm being stupid. Ow. Sir. Here we go. Point blank range sniper shot. The Geth jamming towers are interfering with your signal, Commander. I'm compensating to keep you patched in. You no. work, trainer. Okay, sir, that's just rude. Oh. 
Dude, those, that shield strength is really coming in handy. Oh, uh, what was the explosion? Oh. See, I was a little confused. Bam. Just get wrecked. Oh, um, many time now. I will comply. Or I'll take her. Okay, yeah. Um, ain't no time for surprises like that, my guy. Oh, shit. Um, uh, no. That's right. You're mine now. I know, you're dead. Is that it? Nah, there's a freaking prime down there. Oh no, not prime. Rocket trooper. You're mine now. Holy crap, okay. Oh, okay. Can't hit him. There we go. Thousand credits. Let's go. I'm rich. Your ship's gone. Not Ow. Out. The Yet would travel a defense before we broke through. We have located an override atop the hill. Drop the Damn. Get wrecked. Damn, what the what, what? okay. It's 
sir? This is Wendy's. Oh, damn, dude. They are very bouncy. Okay, I think that's my new favorite thing to do. Anytime um that's up, do it. Oh, the wrong one was up. I thought I saw slam up and it wasn't. Because that's now my new favorite thing to do to them is just to bounce them like a bouncy ball. Wait. You know what to do. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Now you know what to do. I uh, love it. Wait, no. Bouncy ball. What? But bouncy ball. Sir. Bouncy ball. Is that it? I think that's it. Alright. Got the plasma shotgun. I I can't open the door. What? Do you need assistance? Yes. We'll get through. What's your status? The old machine's upgrades grant us targeting superiority. We are drawing hostile fire from your position. Keep it I'm up. getting all it's these the credits, man. People just keep cutting each other off. We'll help them get off. Oh shit. Wait, no. It's all. Oh. That's never gonna get old. Wait, I can lift them. See, combat drone. Door override. Legion, I've hit the override. We have gained mm. system access and are bypassing security. Stand by. Wait, wait. There we go. Oh, that never gets old. Oh shit. You're mine. Now go kill him. Go off. Oh god. We're done? Got it. You have successfully opened the blast shield doors. Good. We'll be back out in a minute. Negative. The path behind you has been sealed. A nearby elevator can take you to the upper level. From there, you should have an acceptable line of sight for targeting. All right. Oh, mama. Was not expecting that. I don't know why, though. Sticky bump. Stick him up. Oh, that got his foot. Holy crap. Ew. Alright, that guy needs to die. You know, it doesn't help if you just freaking keep 
bodying the, uh, whatever he's shooting at you. Missiles, I think. I think they're missiles. Is he dead yet? I don't even know where I was aiming there. We have sent you the nav point with a new targeting location. Admiral ran to all ships. The patrol fleet has broken the gas flank. Permission to pursue. Granted. Good hunting, Rob. Oh god, ow, 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 stop, 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 stop. Oh god. What the hell is happening here? Oh. God damn, okay. Holy crap, dude. It's ridiculous. My god, dude. The amount of damage they're putting out is ridiculous. Um, hello? Or don't. That's cool, too. Like, Jesus. Okay, they're just, just, okay, this is just bullshit, man. Like, oh my god. Shut up. Where are they? Not dying though. Oh my God, I need them up. Oh my God, holy crap, dude. Okay. Oh, okay, that was weird. Sticky bum. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, that's one of those. Okay, I was wondering what was shooting me. Oh my god, dude. Okay, this is ridiculous. Okay, you're pissing me off. What bastard. Okay, we're done. Am 
My god, dude. Good. Anything from the base? No. The old machines have not registered us as a threat. They will regret that. We recommend haste. The creator fleet will be overrun unless you suffer the Geth connection to the old machine soon. This battle was centuries in the making. To see it finally end. Yeah. Well, it's gonna end. safe enough distance, right? No, oh, god damn it. Never mind. Not a safe distance. Not a safe distance. Hey, look, a Reaper. Hey, Javik, you said you wanted to fight a Reaper, right? Come to we will attempt evasive maneuvers. Oh, my God. I mean, shoot, I mean, it'd be nothing to do other than fire. Suicide mission. Reaper control and the quarians are dead. This, this is what Shepard does best. Edie, patch the quarians to the Normandy's weapon system. I want the targeting laser synced up to the whole damn fleet. Understood. Do you need assistance? Just stay down, Legion. I'll take it from here. Shepard Commander. Good luck. Acknowledged. Shepard to fleet. I'll paint the weak spot. Link up with the Normandy and be ready to fire. Come on, open up, you big, beautiful bastard. The destroyer is in range. Missiles are ready for launch. Shepard, we need a target. Find us a target or we'll lose the fleet. Working on it. I do not like this at all. Oh shit. Okay, um, what was I supposed to do there? What the hell am I supposed to do? Come on. It's right there, come on. Get down, you bastard. Oh, god damn, dude, this thing is pissed off at me. Come on. Look down, you bastard. Oh my god. Well, you think third time would be the charm, apparently not.
Okay, there was nothing I could have done there. My god, I hate this. I hate this so much. Oh my god, I hate this. This is probably not it. Nope, nope, nope. He's, he, he's still going. He's still going. Cause that just makes so much sense. Oh crap. Dude, it can't be any further into his eyeball. There's nothing I can do. Dude. Like, it's right there. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yeah, see? There's nothing I could have done there. Standing still. That's how it's done. Ha 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 ha, dude. There's no fucking way that hit me. Alright, let's, let's just wait fucking 15 years for this thing to get up to me. So just don't move. Don't be strafing. Okay. Oh my god. Just don't move. Just don't move. Okay. Yeah, that's fucking fine. That's fine. Open up. Why, you big ugly? So I figured it out. Apparently, you're not supposed to be moving when you're aiming the thing. It took a lot longer than it needed to. Just letting you know. But damn, does it feel good to kick his ass. You know who I am? Harbinger speaks of you. You resist, but you will fail. The cycle must continue. What are you talking about? We stopped Sovereign and the Geth. We stopped Harbinger and the Collectors. We've earned a straight answer. It is not a thing you can comprehend. Try me. We might surprise you. You represent chaos. We represent order. Every organic civilization must be harvested in order to bring order to the chaos. You're 
killing everyone in the galaxy to save us? The cycle must continue. There is no alternative. Organics and synthetics don't have to destroy each other. The data from Rannoch disproves your assumption. We did it. We killed a Reaper. Kila. We can confirm that the Geth are no longer being directed by the old machines. We are free. You did it, Shepard. The Geth free to stop firing. They're completely vulnerable. Shepard Commander, the Geth only acted in defense after the creators attacked. Do we deserve death? What are you suggesting? Our upgrades. With the old machine dead. We could upload them to all Geth, without sacrificing their independence. You want to upload the Reaper code? That would make the Geth as smart as when the Reaper was controlling them. Yes, but with free will, each Geth unit would be a true intelligence. We would be alive, and we could help you. Our fleet is already attacking! Uploading the code would destroy us! Shepard, you can't choose the Geth over my people! Do you remember the question that caused the creators to attack us, Talizora? Does this unit have a soul? Oh lord, now that is a... I mean, I'm gonna upload the code, but like, that's... That's a question, isn't it? Upload the code to the Geth. Tally, call off the fleet if you can. <laughs> Uploading. 10%. This is Admiral Talizora. All units, break off your attack. Belay that order. Continue the attack. 20%. My god, dude. I beg you, do not do this. Please. We regret the deaths of the creators, but we see no alternative. 40%. No. Nobody else dies today. Legion, keep going. Shepard? All ships, this is Commander Shepard. The Reaper is dead. Stand down. This is Admiral Talizora. Shepard speaks with my authority. And mine as well. Negative. We can win this war now. Shut keep up, girl. Firing. I will knock you again. 60%. The Geth are about to return to full strength. If you keep attacking, they'll wipe you out. Your entire history is you trying to kill the Geth. You forced them to rebel. You forced them to ally with the Reapers. 80%. The Geth don't want to fight you. If you can believe that for just one minute, this war will be over. You have a choice. Please, kill us alive. All units, hold fire. Error. Copying code is insufficient. Direct personality dissemination required. Shepard Commander, I must go to them. I'm... I'm sorry. I... It's the only way. Just said I. Legion, the answer to your question was yes. I know, Tally. But thank you. Kill us and I. He literally just said I. Instead of we. Commander. Admiral Ron, I heard your ship made a crash landing. Glad you got out in one piece. I was listening over the radio. I don't hear how many times I played this. He did. That part is we always sad. Oh, I don't know if we can. God, dude, is that part always sad? You are welcome to return to Rannoch, Admiral Ron, with us. Legion? No, I'm sorry, Commander. Legion sacrificed itself to give us all intelligence. 
It will be honored. Good. And we will honor Legion's promise. The Geth fleet will help you retake Earth, and our engineers will assist in building the Crucible. As will ours, of course. Admiral, had you considered possible settlement sites? We... The southern continent had excellent farmland, as I recall. Are you gonna be okay? I believe so, Commander. Thank you. Shopping for another house? Beachfront property. <laughs> Claim it fast. It's a buyer's market. <sighs> you okay? I know working with the Geth will be difficult. I'm not staying. I'm coming with you. You sure? I thought your people needed you. What do I know about negotiating with AIs? Are you and Edie seem really? to get along? My people need me out there. Sooner or later, the Reapers will come for Rannoch. We did just kill one of them. So I'm coming with you to stop them. If you think I can help. You can help. Thanks. When this is all over, when I know my world is safe, then I can come home. It is beautiful, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It'll be years before we can live without our suits completely. But right now... Right now, I have this. That would have been... Honestly, I wish they would have showed her face, like, right there at that moment when they got the uh, liberation. Commander Shepard, but the only way to see what she really looks like is if you romance her, but, you Yes, know. Counselor. Two, in fact. I've read the reports. I can't believe you convinced both sides to stand down. I had a lot of help. We're still facing isolated pockets of Geth. They appear to be Geth bodies loaded with Reaper code. But they're a minor threat relative to the full Geth fleet. Regardless, Commander, you've given us the first reason to hope in this war. Speaking of which, I have information for you vital to the war effort. I'd prefer to share it in person. What if I come to the Citadel? That would be preferable, Commander. Meet me in Counselor Odina's office. <laughs> I mean, it's not his office Commander, anymore. Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. Commander, something on your mind? What's our state of readiness, Admiral? We're getting there. And with the Reapers pressing their advantage across all fronts, we don't have a lot of time to catch up. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? Bringing in both the Quarians and the Geth has helped us immeasurably. The Quarian fleet is providing evac and fire support, while the Geth attack Reaper supply lines. Um, sorry, it's Larians. Okay. What's the Reaper situation? It's not trending well, even if you did buy Rannoch some time. Our threat projections show the Reapers will gain the advantage on most other fronts. And now the Asari are a prime target. They're the most advanced race in the galaxy. We'll soon find out if that means anything. If I may, Admiral, I have a personal question. Speak freely, Commander. Why me? Why put me in charge of all this? Because you're the only soldier in this whole damn navy who knows how to kill Reapers. I've had practice. I admit I've had some practice, even success, but does that qualify me for this? Your dossier says it does, Commander. You were trapped on a coos all those years ago, and you were the only one to make it out alive. Back then I saw more than just a soldier in the making. And because of that, you think I qualify to save the galaxy? Shepard, let me tell you something that I've learned the hard way. You can pay a soldier to fire a gun, you can pay him to charge the enemy and take a hill, but you can't pay him to believe. I don't follow, sir. When you went up against Sovereign, there was no good reason to believe you'd win. 
But your crew didn't seem to care. They went along anyway. Your trip through the Omega-4 relay? That was a suicide mission, if there ever was one. Yet there your crew was, standing beside you, proud to serve. Why? Because they believed in you, their leader. That's what I need now. Where we're taking them is liable to get pretty hairy, and I know you're the one who will get us to the other side. Nothing more, sir. Hack it out. Damn. That man, Hackett literally just told it like it is. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. I hear you were on the ground with the Reaper. He fired up at us a few times. Joker pulled the Normandy through some insane maneuvers to stay out of the line of fire. It's hard being in a fight like that, especially when you're not the one flying the ship. Joker's one of the best, though. At first I was nauseous, swinging around in my safety harness. But then I was furious. Just... <sighs> enraged. I wanted that thing dead. You didn't want the Reapers dead when they attacked Earth? I wanted them defeated. I wanted Earth saved. But I never wanted to physically tear them in half and watch them blow up. Wow. Congratulations, trainer. I believe you've discovered your fight-or-flight instinct. Perhaps I should have stayed with Chess. Although now I think I'm spoiled by the lack of explosions. Commander? All right, mail. Let's talk Quarian War. Uh, okay. May have hard to believe after what we just went through, but the rest of the galaxy is barely aware of the Quarians ever went into the Vale. Okay. Okay, so she wants to come in my cabin and talk. Found work to do. I wanted to let you know that I'm going to join Adams Engineering. Okay. All right. Awesome. Got to hand it to you, Commander. That's the first time I've seen someone end a war by yelling. Glad it worked. I hope that if Tally could see reason, then the rest of the Quarians might listen too. I had hoped my cooperation with Tally, along with Legions, would help her question her socialized prejudice. Yeah, kind of hard to dehumanize someone who's right there guarding your back. And now we've got two fleets for the price of one. We didn't lose anybody. Except Legion. Yeah. Before it sacrificed itself. Legion referred to itself as I instead of we. Yeah? So? The singular pronoun indicates Legion's independent personality had fully actualized. In its last moments, it was not an avatar of the Get Consensus. It was a person. That's what I figured. Well, when the Get Fleet helps us retake Earth, I guess we'll owe that to him. Yep. Commander. Mike has been acting up really stupid. It's on your mind, Edie. I don't know what is I'm going just on. Reflecting. The Quarian's historical era was not up making the Geth enough stuff. Like them. I'm not sure I understand. Units with networked intelligences will trend toward cooperation for mutual benefit. But units with central heuristics establishing an individual personality, such as myself, develop preferences. These preferences form attachments that keep my calculations from devaluing the worth of the lives aboard the Normandy. You're saying the Geth turned on the Quarians because they aren't individuals? That is my theory. But it is limited to a sample size of one society. The only other notable synthetic society is the Reapers, and we do not know if they govern by consensus as the Geth do. Do me a favor, don't ask them. Hello, Shepard. Okay. So Ashley, how's it going? Impressed you got those two groups together. We'll see how long the peace lasts. Commander? Okay. Uh... Alright. 
Everybody's usually, uh, um, everybody is where they usually are. Why could I not say that? Another Reaper gone. And One second. Oh. And peace between the Geth and Quarians. It's amazing. And now my people have a world to fight for. Something they know will last forever. So long as you and the Geth remain good neighbors. They're True. not our servants anymore. I'm not sure what we should call them. Allies? Friends? There's still too many wounds on either side. But maybe one day. The Migrant Fleet and the Geth warships have joined Admiral Hackett. It's good to see you. I am so sorry. My mic just wants to keep on picking up, like, background noise for some reason. It usually doesn't. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to um, check that out and see what the hell's going on with it. Take care, Commander. Peace between the Geth and Quarians. Who would have thought? Not how I ever imagined that would turn out. And next you'll be telling me the Krogan and Turians are cooperating. Yeah. Oh, right. You managed that one too. You're a peacemaker, Shepard. A rare thing these days. I'm a now, born miracle worker. Reapers, we'll make you a saint. Not sure if having an army of Geth behind us gives me confidence or makes me feel like there's a target on my back. Not right now. Well, that's the proto confidence, isn't it? I'm gonna have to figure out why my mic has been picking up some background noises lately. Now let's go to the captain's cabin, talk to Diana Allers. Like, it usually never does. Now it's now it is. Trainer, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. I'm sure you've got a million questions. I narrowed it down to like there. It just Let's picked something else up. I don't know why. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies and no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? The Geth are misunderstood. What you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. The Quarians attacked them. The Geth fought back in self-defense just like any organic would. Now that we've freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. But you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. Yeah. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? Uh, Geth have been upgraded. The Geth are extremely intelligent and they've put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not going to turn again. I'd bet my life on it. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed... So did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy what we've done. I could use some good news. Aye, aye, Commander. Desperate measures. All right, two engineering. If anything. Polly is probably where she usually is. From Mass Effect. Commander. Two, you know. Gabi, nope. Have you ever seen the recordings of Liara's mother? Oh, she's over there. Yes. What about her? And remember Samara, the Asari Justica? Where are you going with this, Kenneth? Have you noticed that older Asari women seem to be a bit more ample? Do you think they just keep growing? Kenneth! 
I think I'll spend my sunset days in an Asari retirement home. If I don't kill you first. All right, okay. To report, Commander. Commander. Nothing to report. Always interesting conversations you guys have in the uh. Can't be. No. This place. I, I can't. That's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry, uh, from Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I, I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are helping, setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're really? rewriting environmental functions, jumpstarting our immune systems. How can they do that? That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. That's kind of amazing. So the won't have to wear those suits anymore. It doesn't seem possible, but yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. That's we very, very good. Them. The suits have become part of our society. But the masks, we wouldn't have to use the masks anymore. Today, on Rannoch, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you. No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. I can't believe my people are working with the Geth. The Geth are helping us rebuild. I never thought I'd see it. Is that it? Our scientists and the Geth have done amazing work on the Crucible together. Hey, Shepard. Yeah, I mean, you probably still wear the suits, but you probably won't have to wear the masks anymore. Which is really fucking good. I mean, you probably still wear the masks if you're, like, soldiers, but... The civilians won't have to wear the masks anymore. Thank you, Commander. Pretty dope. I've seen a Reaper die before my eyes. No problem. You are proving that humans are capable soldiers. But I question this peace you have brokered. No such thing is possible between machines and organics. How do you know I that? I destroy the synthetics without hesitation. And these quarians, let's just hope they are reliable allies. It is difficult to trust a species that hides behind masks. They kind of don't have a choice to wear the masks, dude. The only conflict you should concern yourself with is ending the one with the Reapers. Diplomacy does not win wars. Powerful and plentiful firearms do. I mean, granted, they did bring wearing masks all the time on themselves, but still, I mean, they kind of have to wear them. It seems you believed Protheans built the mass relays. The Reapers are cunning in their deception, allowing life to flourish, century upon century, letting us believe ourselves the masters of the cosmos. Then the truth becomes known. There are monsters in the dark spaces, and we are their prey. Do not care what others think, do what you must. Okay, Javik. Again, always nice talking to you. That man needs to get out more. The munitions you carry into the field deserve at least a triple check. Good to see you, Commander. Ooh, I can get the Eagle. It's a pretty, uh... Pretty good, um, gun. Paladin. Hmm. I kind of want to test this sniper rifle out. Where is it? Not that, not the shotgun. The javelin. I want to test this bad boy out. Just, just to test it out. 
you know. Where are you? Alright. Um. Now, mods, I probably won't need that anymore. With how much damage it does by itself. Do I have anything that can make this lighter? Curious. Wait, what's my... It's plus three right now. Alright, let me check. Not what I wanted to go. Um... SMG, no. Shotgun. Assault rifle. Sniper rifle. Ooh, an eel. Concentration mod. Not bad. Harpoon gun? Okay. That's interesting. Thermal clip? No. Not really what I want. Ultra light materials, that's what we want. Might be able to make that, um. Yeah. Might be able to make it, like, way less. Ooh, more armor? Let's go. And model ships. Let's go even more. Was that it? I think that was it. Yeah. Alright, so then I gotta get this javelin. Yeah. Need those ultra light materials. And I don't think I need that slow motion mod anymore. Super lightweight alloys. Replace weapon parts, making weapon less obtrusive and easier to handle. Accuracy and helps aim through smoke. Hmm. Maybe keep that. Yeah. Yeah. It works. Nice. Oh, Sophie, so cute. I can't believe you got the Geth and Quarians to play nice. You should get a medal for that alone. It looks like we just need to get the Asari on board, and we can finally focus on the Reapers. But I don't suppose it'll be as easy as all that. Nothing ever is. 300 oh my years God, I keep... to take back the quarry and home. That was a misclick. I sure as hell hope it doesn't take that long for us. I'm ready to see Earth again, Shepard. I still can't believe you went inside a Geth. I, I don't even... Loco. Completely loco. Thank you. Hey. As long as I'm crazy. Yes. And that should be the end of this one. Again, if you did like it, hit that like button. It helps us get uh, shown in the algorithm. And uh, I do stream live on Twitch, so come visit me. I uh, stream live there every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I am starting to do morning time streams at 10 a.m., so keep an eye on those. Um, if you want to know when I'm going live, I do post on Twitter quite regularly when I'm going live or when I'm posting content on YouTube. So um, be sure to follow that too. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. As always, have a great day, a great night. Stay beautiful.